This is another watercolor flower tutorial, and I like this one a lot because it reminds me of these beautiful Italian ranunculos. So to begin this one, what we're going to do is load that brush with the color of choice again. And this time I'm going to start really holding the, the paintbrush more vertically and using that pointy tip and making a spiral or concentric circles. Um, and you want a lot of water on the brush enough to move this and make this a line. And what I do is I usually keep these um, spiraling, curving lines in an oval shape to make the flower look like it's kind of angled away from me in some areas. And then I'll make another that maybe is turned more toward me where I see more of the top of the flower, so it'll be more of a circle and less of an oval. And sometimes while the paint is wet, I'll go in and drop some of the other color in there that I'm using just to follow the lines of the spiral that's already there. Now I'm doing that on the second flower, just dropping in a little extra red in there and yellow in there to move things around. And then for this last one that I'm about to do, I make it really oval, really flattened out that spiral and curved a little half circle on the bottom there to really make that flower look like it's facing upright and turned away from me. And then I use that same technique I used on demo one where I added a color and then just used a clean brush to wet and spread the paint. So I have these three flowers here now. Now once that dries, there's a second part to this. So once it dries, I go in with just a slightly damp brush. So this is totally dry now. Did this about an hour ago. And a damp brush, I just sort of gently paint right on top of that spot. And this just loosens enough of the pigment that was already down to fill in my white spots left by my spiral with a lighter version of the colors I used. And that's it.